Hey y'all, it's Thomasina. Welcome back to my channel. There's been a lot of talk about Clubhouse and what it's about, what it's for, is it worth it? Are people spending way too much time on Clubhouse? Are the conversations on Clubhouse even relevant to what you want to listen to? I'm going to answer all those questions for you guys. I've been on Clubhouse for about a month now, but I believe the beta app has been out for a lot longer than that. So I was a little bit late to the game, I'll admit, but whatever. I will start off by saying like any other app clubhouse is what you make of it there's good bad and ugly in every app but you have to use it to your advantage right clubhouse is amazing there are a ton of networking opportunities and a ton of free game just being thrown at you but you have to put yourself in the position to where you have access to that information when you first get on clubhouse i know you just want to follow all of your friends you want to follow all the people that you know but I will caution you from doing that because once you do that, then your hallway, which is basically the rooms of the conversations that you will see, will be tailored to way too many interests. It's going to be tailored to all the interests of the people that you follow. So if you're first joining Clubhouse, I recommend that you follow people who are interested in similar fields as you. For instance, if you're interested in making money, investing in real estate, starting up your own business, YouTubing, if you're interested in stuff like that, then you want to follow people who are either already doing that or people who are interested in doing that as well. If you get on Clubhouse and you follow all of your friends and this friend is interested in scaling scamming men and finding a sugar daddy and this man is in interested in how to build apps they're a super techie person then that is what your hallway is going to reflect so i would just say be um, really intentional about the kinds of people that you're following on Clubhouse in order to tailor the information that you're seeing in the conversations that you have the opportunity of being a part of. Another tip for getting the bang for your buck, even though it's a free app, but for getting the most out of your time on Clubhouse is to talk. You know, when you're joining in on these conversations, if you have something of value to say or if you have a question, make sure you ask it because people hear your voice, you're able to introduce yourself at the time before you ask your question, and then people will follow you on both clubhouse and on your social media if you connect your social media to your clubhouse so it's a great way to just kind of get your face out there get your name out there get your brand out there you are able to introduce yourself to thousands and thousands of strangers where you you might not have that opportunity on other platforms but when you're talking make sure you're saying something of value from my experience on clubhouse i will literally be in one clubhouse group and hear someone in this clubhouse group ask a question and then jump to another clubhouse group and ask the same question so like that's mad annoying and because the app is not accessible to everyone right now it's it's still a smaller portion of people on the app so if you are joining the same kinds of rooms chances are we know that you in these groups asking the same questions like come on now so make sure when you do speak you're asking a question that is of value or you're providing more value to the conversation. Every time that I talk in a room, I gain like five followers on Instagram and like 10 followers on Clubhouse. So when people are able to hear your voice, they're able to hear what you stand for, they're able to hear a little bit more about your brand and what you do. And if they're intrigued by it, then they'll follow you. And so I think it is basically like free promotion of yourself. So why not talk if you have something to say? For a long time, there were discussions about like, where are all the white people on Clubhouse? I didn't even realize that most of the conversations that I was having was with other people of color on Clubhouse. And so when those conversations started happening, I was like, dang, yeah, where are all the white people on Clubhouse? I feel like it's based on your contacts. So if you have a lot of black contacts on Clubhouse, then I think that's going to be representative of like the, the rooms that you're seeing and the population of people in those rooms. But if you have a lot of white people in your contacts, then you're going to be more likely to see more white people in your rooms. But don't quote me on that. I don't know if that's true. That's just my theory and it kind of like makes sense in my opinion. I'm kind of nervous to see how Clubhouse is going to change once they release the full version of the app. So right now I'm just trying to suck up all the information that I can. I'm trying to get all the networking in that I can because once it expands to everyone, we may not have this access to 
these professionals and this access to this free information as much as we do right now so if you're not on clubhouse right now i say get on clubhouse asap before they open it up and release the full version and then it may completely change from what it is right now but all in all i will say that clubhouse is definitely worth it it is what you make of it if you are being intentional about your time on the app and really joining groups that are of benefit to you and you're actually taking the information that you've learned and applying it to your real life and making things happen, then yes, Clubhouse can definitely be, be beneficial to you. But if you're spending hours and hours a day listening to conversations, listening to the same kinds of conversations over and over again, and you're never taking any of the information that you've gained and applying it to your real life, then you're wasting your time. At that point, you are in a type of analysis paralysis where you think that you need more and more information before you actually take the first step in doing whatever it is you wanna do, whether that be starting a business, whether that be starting a YouTube channel, whatever it is, you don't think you're ready because you don't feel like you have enough information. And so you don't want to allow yourself to get into that analysis paralysis on Clubhouse. Come up with the questions that you need to solve the problem that you've identified. When they give you the answers, you use those answers to fix that problem or start that journey, start that business, do whatever you have to do. Now that uh, Clubhouse is growing and more and more people are joining it, you know, not everyone has the best intentions and not everyone wants to see everybody win like they claim to. So I would say be cautious of scammers on Clubhouse. That is a big thing. A lot of people just want to get on Clubhouse, sell their course, sell this, sell that. It's really just like selling. They are marketing. This is what they do and they are feeding off of people who are basically seeking mentorship seeking information they know that you are a more vulnerable population so they're really targeting you to try to make these sales so just be weary of that so that's why I'm a little bit scared of how it's gonna be once they release the full version of the app but we will see I hope you guys found this video helpful I will catch you guys in the next video Bye. I'm not just a pretty girl. I'm more than just a pixel.